And this looks like a sacrificial altar. Wonderful. Hey. Can always use that. Ugh. Anything behind this? Nope. Guess not. Definitely looks like some kind of sacrificial altar. Man, looks really deep down there. How did they even manage to build something like this? It's like candles over there. I mean, how do you even light those? Do you have like a really long stick that you just light those? I think I've seen those before where you have this amazingly long stick that lights them and then you have one that can put them out. Let me know if I'm if I'm remembering this correctly. I, I think I've seen those in like like Catholic churches or something. Well, straight across. No, I don't feel like going straight across. I think I'll go this way. What do we have out here? Yes, I'm guessing the only reason that there was more definition was because the door was actually open. This is. Is that footsteps? That's definitely not footsteps. Wow. Some kind of electrical field. What is this? Pedestal. Smooth hemispherical depression at the top. So, kind of like a globe. Perhaps you need an orb to enter this. Daniel, you touch everything. Ugh. Got myself hurting rather badly. Alright, well, there is no way that I'm getting in there. Wow. I need an orb before I can go in there. I don't know if it's the orb, but some sort of orb. And if it is the orb, then why would you put it down to open that? I mean, can you pick it back up after you put it down and the lightning stays away? Or... I don't know. Hmm. This fire is rather eerie. Color is definitely very different. Hmm. Got another note here. Another path to head down. What is this? A bucket of tar. Hmm. That is not syrup, Daniel. Don't eat that. Let's see here. Ooh. Let's just hop on this box and see if we can't. Come on. Thank you. I hate it when you're trying to grab something and you just, for the life of you, cannot focus directly on it to grab it. Alright, well, let's see what this note has to say. Of August, 1839. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. Mm -hmm. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? You don't sound civilized, they are all Daniel. Wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. I think you are wicked Still, too. I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way, as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. I try mm. to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy, and uh. the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. It sounds as if Daniel sunk straight into Alexander's lies. He sounds like a changed person. I don't like the person that he changed into. Perhaps he didn't either, and that's why he made himself forget. Yes. In any case, we shall return in just a moment. Um, 
I forgot to put up a timer, so I do not know how much time has gone by. Um, I'll be right back. And here we are once again. There we are. Much, much better with my nice little timer. Some gears up here. I don't think I can take any of those. Alright, well, let's see what waits below. Oh, damn. Of course it wouldn't budge. This is probably the room I need to go into, too. My hammer... No. Bucket of tar. What would I be able to do with that? Let's see here, we've got a mystic barrier. Blocks the passage in the chancel. Pedestal in the chancel has a depression. Two levers at the top floor are not working. It's probably some problem with the machinery. The heavy door is blocking the path. Grippa, the dining man, seeks a note written by a man named Johann Weyer. Or by need to enter the inner sanctum. Or an orb is needed. Shattered pieces scattered in the torture room. Torture rooms. Well, the only rooms that I saw that looked like torture rooms were were upstairs, and I suddenly know what to do with the tar. If it's a shattered orb, the tar was used before to stick the orb together, and then squeezed out of the orb. Alexander, you took Daniel down a dark path, and I now, as the new Daniel, must right that dark path, even, even if it is with more darkness. They say two wrongs can't make a right, but in this case, if I don't do a wrong, I think more wrongs are going to be committed. bothersome. Well, this is a sacrifice room. I imagine that that's not the torture room that they spoke of. The prison upstairs kind of looked like it could have been torture rooms, but then again they also looked like padded cells, as if there was just crazy people inside of them. Then again, I think the only crazy people in here are Daniel and perhaps Alexander. I don't know about a grippy yet. I don't know him well enough to to know whether he is is crazy or not. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go back and look at those rooms. I'm not, not quite positive where the torture rooms are, or if those are the torture rooms. But perhaps we'll find out momentarily. Maybe I overlooked something in those rooms. They looked rather empty. Hmm. Nave. It had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus rose oil. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Well, this guy is definitely very messed up, and I can't believe that Daniel actually allowed himself to become messed up as well. But what he said sounds like there's torture chambers 
elsewhere. Not here. As he said that there was pipes of some sort. That pipe in the... Ugh, I don't even really want to think about that too much. So these probably aren't the rooms where I'm supposed to be looking. Yes, I, I don't think this is it, but I do see the pipes. Definitely see the pipes. I wonder if I'll go into one of these rooms and actually hear something from the pipes. That seems to be the only room that actually made any noise when I went inside of it. Hmm. Where do these pipes go? I can't even see where they lead out. There's no pipes going across this room. It's only in the cells. I don't know. Perhaps I need to return upstairs. The pipes are supposed to carry the sound down. Would that mean that the torture rooms are upstairs? I don't know. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Something important. I feel like I should have seen the torture rooms already. Somewhere. What happened to her? How are things coming? You should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. Right, I know. Is this supposed to be a torture room? Because if this is a torture room, then I can't open it with the broken levers. You're a good boy, Dan. And I appreciate your company. But I believe you have more important things to take care of. This looks like a torture room. Wait a minute, I never... You should hurry, Dan. No time for sitting around. I never went up here. Never even bothered trying. All right. Well, You're a good boy, there's definitely something up there. But I believe you have more important things. I don't know if I can build my way up there, though. Oops. You should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. I wish I could turn him off right about now. Ah, there. The gears are not working. To somehow get up higher because You're a good boy, I am not and able to I see up there. But I believe you have more important things to take care of. Bah. Come here, you. Let's uh, you should hurry, twist you around you just a bit. There. All right. Can I still get on top of this? Hmm. Not quite. Would you shut up, Agrippa? You are pissing me off now. I believe you should shut up right now, Agrippa, before I smack you in the face. You should hurry, No time for sitting around. Yes, 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 yes. Quiet, you. Is that any taller than putting them on their side? No. Shut up! And I appreciate your comfort, but I believe you have more important things to take care of. Mm. You should hurry down. There we are. No time for sitting around. Please, Agrippa, shut your face. It is really, really getting on my nerves. That's very bothersome. Understand why Agrippa can't shut up once in a while. 